So one thing I wanted to talk about were uh, the kits that I got when I got started and how I like them and not. Um, so for instance, take this. Uh, this is a proto shield. It's really cool. It has like a pot. It has buttons, some LEDs. So when you need pots, buttons, and LEDs for your projects, you don't need to well have that hardware around. You can just use those on the shield. Which is cool, uh, but it's well. All of the makers uh, or the producers kind of have their own proto shield, and I have a couple ones. Um, then they're really nice. But what you do would want to use them for is probably soldering without this like uh, tiny breadboard thing on top here. Um, what came with my ultimate kit from uh, Maker Shed is this pretty nice big breadboard. It's uh, it has like uh, glue here so I can stick it to things. It's sort of transparent. It's quite nice. Uh, but uh, in this case, bigger is better. Um, so uh, this is the one I picked up some days ago. And yes, I do actually use all of it. And I couldn't do that on this one. Another thing uh, I want to talk about were um, the things that I thought that I would want that I didn't end up using at all. Um, this is a kit uh, from Seed Studio. They have plenty of cool stuff, but this kit just wasn't what I thought. So it's filled with a bunch of sensors and I.O. things. Um, so take this one, for instance, it's a light sensor with a small IC and a resistor and this well, convenient plug. Uh, and it also comes with these like standard three wire sensor cables. And like here, here's the pot. But the thing is, I'd much rather have this pot without the sensor cable. It's much more convenient to build stuff on breadboards as compared to plugging things into this mega shield. Um, so the ID is kind of cool, uh, but in reality this really didn't cut it for me, so I don't know what I'll do. I'll probably unsolder all the circuits uh, or sensors from this and stuff it in my other box. Um, no, I, 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 with the ultimate kit from uh, Mega Shed, I also got a display, and it's it's much more <laughs> usable than this huge PCB with the big connector, these switches. I really don't need those for prototyping, and I certainly wouldn't use anything like this for a final product. Um, oh. Well, it was $149, so I feel that I could have used those the money better. Anyway, just want to tell that. And, but what I did spend money on is these suitcases, and they are so nice. Um, they have compartments that you can take out, and so we'll say you want to have the tools nearby, just take that out, leave it dressed somewhere else. And for breadboards, and for um, uh, breadboard cables, here's some kits that I have, like this is the, an RFID kit that I'll soon start playing with, uh, a bunch of stuff that I haven't gotten around to use yet, and I'll, I'll get a second Arduino here soon, battery boxes, and then I have another case, suitcase, with uh, well, more or less all my sensors and diodes and all that stuff. And the cool thing is they're uh, very stackable um, and very flexible and if I need something else I can just swap out the boxes or well how, what's what's within them. I really recommend these and they're also useful if you're going to hacker spaces which I'm fully intending to do here in Oslo pretty soon. So, cool.